Hey guys, this is not my typical sort of video. I thought I'd do something a bit different and show what I do on my double XP weeks. This is what I've done previously on my Defense Pure over the last few double XP weeks. I also make hundreds of mills. Starting off with some farming. Double XP doesn't actually apply to player own farm, so this is just normal XP. I had prepared them all the week before, hoping that player own farms was included. So this was a bit of a fail. Oh well. I'll explain double XP merchanting a bit while I show you my failed double XP player own farm run. I generally make a few hundred mil every double XP week. And I'll give you some examples of that. Before the double XP week starts, I usually buy some items that will be in high demand during the double XP week. This is a pretty consistent way to merchant. Take super ranged potions as an example. Many people will be wanting to make overloads over the course of the double XP week. So I bought 28,324 super ranged potions and I bought them for around 21,000 each. During the double XP week I sold them for 29,000 each and the calculations are as follows. Buying them all for 21k GP each costed me 594,800k and the total for selling them at 29k GP each was 821,300k. So my profit was 226 mil, 600k. As you can see, it's lucrative to invest in items before the double XP week. This was just one item that I invested in. I won't say any further items that I have merchanted, but generally, certain items are in high demand on double XP weeks. It's good to take advantage of that and buy lots when the demand is low in preparation. I use up all my dummies, battleships, silverhawk feathers, etc. as they are doubly effective on double XP, so I never use those off double XP. Jagex doesn't like to include XP sources where you can make progress before double XP and then apply that progress during double XP. However, this doesn't apply to player own ports, so I take full advantage of that.
I miscalculated the amount of overloads I'd need for 99 Herblore. I ran out with just 21k XP left I had to go back to the Grand Exchange. I also got 99 fire making while forming my next raid team. If you're interested in this 10 HP tank doing raids, check out my other videos. I generally save these invention discoveries for double XP week because you get more XP out of them then. Invention potions allow you to access more discoveries so you can get more XP. I wait until my stats refresh so that I drink my invention potion at the start of the next cycle, giving me the longest amount of time to solve the discovery. Mega fail on this big game hunt. I thought I was out of range, but clearly wasn't. This was my first big game hunt with three dinos. Unfortunately, I forgot to record the first part. Big game hunting three dinos is pretty difficult with no movement abilities. I wonder how many players can do it. I forgot to arm one of the scorpions. Hate that. I got a tribal fin. Sold for more than I expected. Got a superior long bone at another point too. And quite a few dino eggs. I don't think that Herbie Werby is included in double XP. Another fail. Scarab's a good XP too. And other dailies. I'll call this the final push, where I get my dailies in the last 20 minutes. I guess the banana is unrelated, but I thought I'd throw it in there. I got it from a player owned farm request.
divine locations are good XP. I hope you learned a few things that you can utilize. Enjoy your double XP week. See ya.